25th in Connecticut. We're going to go as far up to, we're going to make it our way up to 25th. As you know, if you watched the last video, I did a video, this is downtown Gary, and uh, it's kind of a zigzag kind of little situation. There's so much to see though, it really is. zigzag around it we can't keep a straight line up it I, um, going straight up because you have to cut around some of these and go back to the street so just be ready for that a little detours in order to get up like you know some of them don't go all the way through some of them are one way some got cold sacks they continue on the other side so as you see on the once you start to rain a little bit maybe we'll get a rainy day video out of this park there I can't remember what the name of that was if you remember the sign was in there for a long time and I'm sure I can google it and find out but you know kind of got other things to do and I'd let people who really enjoy looking those things up you guys can have the pleasure of uh, see that in the comment if you remember that park or the name of it check out these houses that's now that's what you call a bandit that's the kind of stuff that scares people. It's They're scary looking. They have all the overgrowth over them. That's what makes it scary looking. So I'm trying not to swing the little trash. Damn shame. It is a damn shame it didn't start with all that trash. Now see, right here, in order to get to Connecticut, I'm gonna have to swing back around this way and go back up to Connecticut, I believe. But uh, I'm going to knock out a lot of these streets. And, uh, you know, I can't do them all, obviously. You know, obvi obviously all of them are not really worth documenting to me. But the ones that are worth worth documenting, and, and this is a dead end. Look at this. Check that out. Can't tell me that's not scary. Wow. Alright, let's see if we can find our way back this way. You can see the potholes in the streets, man. That sucks. Yeah, this one's got a. I'm just gonna go back up to Broadway and cut back to it. I think that's the only way I can get to it, I'm not sure. I don't have them all memorized like that. my way around yeah. it's behind the palace theater that thing's been wide open for forever that's one of the most explored places around next to the church a big building, that place is getting really, really sketchy. I often mention whenever I come across uh, something that I've pointed out in other videos, behind that payday loan place is an alley, and behind, and in that alley right there is where they shot um, the, the gun shooting scene with all the original gangsters in the movie, and Jim Brown, Pam Greer, The Hammer, you know, and they were all, that's where they shot it, right behind that payday loan in that alley. All right, let's see if we can get back our Connecticut Street here. All 
that's why I see because there's railroad tracks that run that way. I guess that's why I came to the down there. We've been up down these streets so long, so many times. You think I know about the back of my hand and there's so much, there's so many of them that uh, it's really hard to remember some of them are just crazy. Like Jackson Street, to, that's a wild street. There's so much to see on that. And I will cover it eventually. Um, I can't spend all my time riding around, obviously, and just record videos. However, I love taking drives. I love, that's why I have a van. And uh, I'll be doing other things. So these uh, drive along videos, if you really like them, let me know. This way I keep doing them. Um, you know, I, I understand. I have a short attention span when it comes to a lot of things myself, you know, when I watch videos. and But what I try to do is just keep it all real. There's not one video, not one, not a one that I've ever done on a 900 plus that I didn't have my feelings involved in it. You know what I mean? You got to get out there and just, you know, I decided that when I was going to start doing YouTube, I'm just going to go for it. You know, I'm not going to try to get every big place that I see people get. And all I'm just going to stick right here in the Gary and around the surrounding areas, you know, Lake Station, Hammond, Holbrook, Portage. You know, Crown Point, places like that. There's just not a lot to see like there is in Gary. Gary has so much to see. <laughs> Almost cussed. This is what, that's what happens. People don't just pull out. They don't fly out. Uh, the old Pulse Tribune. They used to be the Pulse Tribune uh, parking lot and garage and all that. Here, right here in this corner was where the... Uh, the Cloverleaf building was. You can see some structures still left over there. It's pretty neat. We explored that and we didn't know what it was. We had no idea what we were looking at. Okay, here's Connecticut. Now we're back on Connecticut Street. We are on 11th in Connecticut. Now you see the difference? Now this over here, that is where they used to store the poster view trucks. We wondered for a long time that one of the subscribers told us they used to work there. You can see the difference in there. Now you're starting to get into the brownstones instead of the single family house. Can you imagine all the people out here at one point in time? And that car looks tired. church right here um we try to get a hold of the guy a couple times we just keep messing up but yeah we want to take a look inside there with permission it'd be pretty cool to look at here's here's the old uh this is that park that they put all that money into it's got a water park and everything out there is this it yeah and i'm sorry i'm losing track of the houses over here Trying to get a picture of everything. Yeah, they re repurposed this one. Uh, oh, geez, what was the name of it? The, uh, da, 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 da. I cannot think of the name. Look at that. Check that out. That's something. And there's the water park part. Yeah, we actually did a James Reed Park. Thank you. My brain had to snap on that. The James Reed Park, that's a like a water pad park, the water shoots out the ground right there. We went over and looked at it, we found a purse over there that somebody had, uh, somebody had stolen and threw in, and thrown it out there. If you go out on my videos, look for James Reed Park here in Indiana. You see the video's pretty crazy, we were looking around it. Look at all the trash in the world. Check this out. See, this is the difference having had a GoPro and having a camera, it just don't work. The GoPro just don't work for me. Look at the hood squirrel. Connecticut. 
St. St. Hedwig was. That was a really cool explore. We got to check that out before they tore it down, which I'm really glad. Who's he talk to? There it is, the remains of St. Hedwig. That's all that's left of it. There's the property. That's such a cool spot. It's got a real feel to it. The cross street doesn't have anything over there. So it's abandoned buildings in the background. There's abandoned buildings, but yeah, that's where St. Hedwig was. Connecticut Street's a pretty interesting street. I love looking them down the roads. I really do. It's a shame about all the trash and litter, but you know, it is what it is. Can't point a finger at one person. Check that out. know what this used to be because I never really asked around a lot but I've seen it I always wondered what that used to be it had to be some kind of little shop or store or something and this block is pretty much blown out on one side it's 905 Connecticut so this side there's people living in those but this side man it's to call it block apocalypse right there Across the street too. Check this out. <laughs> you can't tell me that's not crazy. I don't care where you're from. This store is open for a long time. I guess it's closed now. Doors kicked open or busted open. All right, and we're coming up to another. So on 20th Avenue now. All kinds of critters running around. This house still lived in. These ones were blown out. Nice houses. And you got these right between them. 2051. Yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying? Okay, now we're coming up to. I know. I know. We got to here. We should be able to get straight up the old side of the uh, bottling plant. Done videos on this place. That's a, that was a sketchy explore, I'll tell you that. Alright, so we have to go this way and turn back up and find Connect the rest of Connecticut Street. Keep going. Yeah, today I've dedicated my drive to Connecticut Street. I grew up on Connecticut. Big shout out to all you people out there. Uh, they grew up on in Glen Park and Gary. I'm Gary Boy too, I love it. And uh just you know. I just think it needs to be documented what the city looks like now. For some reason, there is a lesson in it to be learned. No matter who you are, there's a Brothers Keeper shelter. The old church there and the one on the other side of that, that's the uh, the old friendship building. There's so much history out here. It's like, you know, going back in time. It's just a shame we got to look at all this trash. But, you know, what are you going to do other than document it and hope that, you know, somehow people are 
I'm going to get out there and clean it up. If I lived in Gary and I had the time to do this, I would have ran for mayor a long time ago, I swear. <laughs> I really, I used to get told that all the time you should run for mayor. I mean, it's just, you know, it, it didn't come from just growing up in such a wonderful place and seeing it so disregarded. Like, it, it's almost like if somebody drives by and throws garbage in your yard over and over and over again, are you gonna get to a point where you say, you know what, I didn't do it, so I'm not cleaning up. You're the one who gotta look look at it. They're, they keep going right on down the road. That's the part I don't understand. That's the part that I get lost in translations. Like, okay, do you have to just keep going out there and picking it up then? Something. But that trash and garbage that I'm looking at, that has been there for years. Years. I've been there for months, years. And it's right there. And people go past it all the time. They have to look at it. That sucks. That's what I'm telling y'all. That right there sucks. Not to mention abandoned buildings and all that other stuff. But All right. We're on Massachusetts Street. So... Look at that. Okay, let me figure. Okay, okay. I think I know. I gotta go through here. trying to show you. If I don't, it was pretty much blown out here. Look at this. Now this is in Connecticut. This is an avenue here. I'm not quite sure exactly which one, but I'll tell you about it. Hmm. That's something. Tell me that's not crazy. Okay, let's hope that this is Connecticut. Concentrate on people's houses that are still living there, you know. Pennsylvania, so I think it's the next one over. Oh, Pennsylvania's not looking too, too vibrant. Oh, wait a minute, I should have went back. There it is, okay, Delaware. I'm not gonna come back and do them just because there's a few buildings on it. Watch your business. You see that? There's Connecticut. Alright, back on track. Yellow one in the middle. I think 
bitch outside. Uh, occupied Abandoned Houses. I believe that's the name of the video. We'll go check that out if you haven't already. It's kind of heartbreaking, man. You can't help but to see these guys and, you know, you take it with you. A little piece of that sticks with me. It really does. In case you were wondering. Me getting out here and doing all these videos and meeting all these people. There's been a lot of stuff that I've seen and done. Um, that doesn't, you know, just because it's not film doesn't mean it didn't happen, you know. We've been into quite a few sketchy situations. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Hey, look at these. Suckers wasted. I haven't even been on this street before. Look at both sides. Everything's gone. Twenty-six in Connecticut. That Nipsco truck behind me. Just got to wait out. And then people got these nice houses right here. Oh, I know that. I remember that guy. Really nice people. And you know what? A lot of these residents are super sweet people. They just get caught up where they can't afford to move and or they own the house and they want to fix it. Come when they can't afford to fix it. Look at the stairs just there. And this is what it becomes. All right, well, that looks like it's going to be the end of the video. And if I remember correctly, if I make a left turn here, there's the, uh, the underground church that we did a video on that one, too. That house is close. I'm still Sea Storm. And there we go. Connecticut Street. Hmm. Crazy, huh? See you next video.